My name is Matt Hayward. I'm on the Contributor Success Team at Adobe Stock, and I'm also a contributor at Adobe Stock. I've been submitting for well over 10 years now. I've got a pretty deep portfolio, and I've gotten a good idea of what works for me stylistically. And so in this video, we're gonna go through that, and hopefully this inspires you to get out and create your own content for Adobe Stock that speaks to your style. Today, we've got five models coming to the Adobe office in Seattle, Washington. So we're gonna walk around, do a little bit of freestyling. We're gonna come back inside the building and shoot. We're gonna talk about intellectual property how to avoid capturing it in content. The models are almost here and we'll get started. So the first thing I do in a stock shoot is have all the models sign a release. Any recognizable person in an image or a video for stock must be accompanied with a signed model release. Recognizable does not just mean their face. It can be a tattoo, it can be a birthmark, it can be a scar, it can be a hairstyle, just the context of the image. If the model's gonna recognize themselves in the image, they need to sign a release giving you permission to license that content for commercial use. The first scene of the day is inspired by the Adobe Stock visual trend, Disruptive Expression. And so my interpretation of that, we're gonna have some protests. The models are gonna start by holding up blank signs. That way designers can add whatever message they want to in post-processing to meet their needs. After that, we'll have the models fill out messages on the signs. I'm gonna catch some B-roll shots of that as well, of them actually filling out the signs. With the blank signs, you as a contributor can add your own messages in post-processing also. I've only got five models, so that doesn't make up for a huge protest that has a tremendous impact. So I'm gonna use a long lens. I've got a 300 millimeter with me. If I didn't have the 300, 70 to 200 is fine. Beautiful, okay, so that's my wide shot. I'm gonna shoot long. So hold your sign up just a little bit for me, just a little bit more. I could have easily had these signs pre-filled out to save time in the shoot, but I think the actual writing on the signs is part of the story. These shots add another element that designers can use to tell their story, and so I wanna give as much as I can. So we're setting the scene and capturing content throughout from start to finish. If you're a stock photographer, and you've got a DSLR, you've probably got a switch on the back that goes from photo to video. It's out of my comfort zone. I'm pretty good with stills, but video I'm still learning, but I'm finding it's pretty simple and very comparable to photography. And I'm finding that the demand is very, very high at Adobe Stock, and so I'm making good money with these short clips. Five seconds to 60 seconds with no audio. So if you're doing a photo shoot for stock, convert it to a video shoot every chance that you have. Okay, guys. When it comes to wardrobe, I like to give guidance, but not specific details. I want the models to bring their own clothes that fit them naturally. The most important thing is that we avoid brands, trademark logos, and things like that. You can always clone it out in Photoshop. We're gonna walk throughout the building, do some various scenes. I've got the models changing into uh, modern tech worker wardrobe, nothing too fancy. Uh, we're gonna start the shoot in the lobby. I'm gonna cover up some visible logos. This is an easy fix in Photoshop when doing stills, but since I'm also shooting videos, it's a little bit more complex in After Effects. Uh, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and use some gaff tape to cover these up because I'm gonna put a model behind the desk as a receptionist and have a couple people greeting them. And then I'm gonna shoot from behind them as well. And so that just saves me a little bit of time in post-processing that simple step. Uh, so I'm gonna bring the models out and we'll get going. So the plan is to take advantage of some of the cool tech that we have in here. And so video conferencing is one way that a lot of businesses are working together. I'm gonna to capture that in my camera. So I've got Ellen in the room next door and uh, the remaining models are in this room. We're gonna shoot from in here, then we're gonna switch over and shoot from behind Ellen and incorporate the tech into the shot. So 
I'm making this shot, the composition, I've got layers. I've got John all the way in the back. He almost seems irrelevant to the shot, but he adds believability. There's action going on. Patricia's in the front. She's going to be out of focus. My main focus is on the three working at the table here, but adding depth and more people to the shot makes it look like more of a bustling work environment, makes it a more believable and authentic image. So we have another conference space in the Adobe building. I like this one because we've got nice window light coming in. Inside the building can be a little bit dark and dreary, and so light is an issue. We've got a nice whiteboard, so we're gonna have John as the presenter. He's just gonna hold the marker up. He's gonna block any logos on the pen to prevent intellectual property violations. But then he's going to basically be pointing at the whiteboard. We're gonna leave that blank so that a designer can add their own text to match their project exactly. I'm also gonna take a more voyeuristic approach to this and shoot through these wood slats. I like to, to give the element of looking in on a scene without being seen, and so I think that's gonna help do it to create some unique content. We'll shoot these and we'll move on to what's next. Okay, great. So we have walked the streets of Fremont. We've shot some office stuff inside the building. Now we're gonna take advantage of the gym space at the Adobe office in Seattle. It's got beautiful window light coming in. We've got some machines, and so we're gonna put the models to work, get a little exercise, and get some great stock. So we've gotten a lot of great looks inside and outside the building. I think a diverse range of content. We're gonna finish out the day shooting some portraits. I've got two different setups. We're using this metallic kind of grayish backdrop for a more serious look. And then we're gonna capture content that speaks to the Adobe stock visual trend, creative democracy. That is a more kind of a silly, fun, vibrant, bright colors, kind of an Instagram feel almost. And so that should be a lot of fun. These are gonna be a lot of fun as well. We've got Ellen already queued up and so I'm gonna start shooting. last portrait session is really speaking to the Adobe Stock visual trend, creative democracy. It's fun, bright, vibrant colors. Designers are using this. It's really got kind of an Instagram feel to it. We've got balloons, we've got confetti, we've got zany models, and we're gonna have a great time with this shoot, as you can see. Okay, that's a wrap. We got a lot of really good content. We covered a lot of ground. Just to recap a few points, going into a shoot, it's a good idea to have your model sign the release before you capture the content. You can download a copy of the release at the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal. Go into the shoot with a plan. I always like to write out a shot list, scout the location, get an idea of the content you wanna capture before you capture it. It's totally fine to go off the rails and get stuff you didn't plan for, but it's really a good idea to have something to reference shoot video in addition to shooting still photos. Again, five seconds to 60 second clips with no audio, there's a really big market for that. Communicate with your models in advance of the shoot about wardrobe. 
Watch out for logos, trademark items, and things of that nature. Have them bring a, a nice selection for you to choose from. Watch the visual trends that Adobe Stock is providing. Creative democracy, we talked about disruptive expression. We're always uh, trying to communicate, engage with contributors, let you know what type of content that customers are looking for. In addition to the standbys that is always hot year after year, fitness, current technology, shoot that kind of stuff as well, and you will succeed as a contributor. My name is Matt Hayward. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.